Hey everybody, this is Tyler with T-Game and Tech once again, and today I'm going to be going over the app Penultimate for iPad 2, or in the first generation iPad. Um, when you download Penultimate, it's from the App Store, and you can, I'll post a link in the description how much it is, I think it's like 4 or $5, maybe not even that much, maybe $3, but it's really cheap, but it's a great app um, for note taking, for, for penning, you can use a stylus or your finger, and Penultimate comes with this really nice notebook, it's the first one, it's like a review on how to do it. So it says tap here to open this notebook. You tap on the page numbers to go to the next page. And that was easy. Um, it just So it basically gives you some instructions how to go from um, one page to the next. So it says go onwards. Pen tool you have it right now. So it says to draw a house below. I'm using my stylus. There's my nice little house. Isn't that awesome? It's an awesome house. And I'm trying to click on this arrow, but that's the wrong arrow. I'm supposed to click on the page number to go to the next page. Um, this is the eraser tool, so you just got to click on the eraser, it shows you how it works. You know, you just click and it erases. And this says no need to be shy, you can always hit undo, undo is up here, you might not be able to see on the video, but it's right here. Um, so you can click on X and clear the page, and you're like, oh crap, I don't want to clear that page. All you need to do is click undo, the page is right there. Um, there's different styles of paper, if you click on this paper right here, line paper, a graph paper, plain paper, a lot of, there's a bunch of different um, options you can choose and you can also download but I'll go over that later, the different page styles you can download. Oh, skip the page. Um, write in color, so you can write in different kind of colors. If you hold down the pen icon you have your different colors there and different thicknesses. So we'll change it over to red and you can just draw like that. And I can just undo what I just did because it doesn't look very nice. And I can do a little squiggle I had earlier there. And it says to see all note all pages in the notebook, pull from the corner. So that there's a little grid you can see, and then it brings all the pages in the notebook. And if you drag it back over, you go back to the page. And it says you can reorder pages. So if I want to move a page around like that, I can move it out wherever I want. And this also once works with your finger too. I'm just using a stylus because I think the stylus really goes well with this app. And says, touch my notebooks to make your own. It says, that's it, and enjoy. And it goes to the next page. So that's the end of the penultimate little notebook they give you. But then that's not the end of the review. So I made an own notebook for the, um, my actual review. It says, hi, this is my penultimate review. Um, so we're just going to go through here some different things. Uh, this is just a little picture I drew. Um, I guess there's a bird in the sky. Now there's a red bird. Um, these people are happy because they're being in penultimate. Um, there is one thing, there's only six colors, that's kind of a bummer. There's other apps out there, um, I know I have this Bamboo app, it's pretty much the same thing as Penultimate, but it has a bunch of more colors, um, more customizable, but th that really is kind of pathetic, there are only six colors, I mean, where's your yellows and your oranges? I guess they say red's there for those reasons, but I mean, one shade of blue and one shade of green. You're missing a lot of colors there, you only have six colors, and the three thicknesses, that's fine, but you need a lot more colors for this kind of app. Um, I just did test on, like, drawing with my finger. Hi, you're watching T Game Tech. Subscribe. And this is with my stylus, and I just think the stylus is easier writing um, than with my finger. Um, the one thing I don't like about this app is you can't, like, single page customize stuff. Like, you can tell, like, this is, like, pay, plain notebook paper. Um, if you change the paper, it changes the whole notebook. Um, you might not be able to see the graph. You might see the graph a little bit there, but that gets plain paper, line paper, and it changes for the whole notebook, not just a page. So if you'd be able to just take one page and make it into a graph, that'd be nicer. If you're having like notes and then you just want to put one graph, instead of making the whole notebook as a graph. And writing was free. This is a different notebook paper pack, and you can get download it from like uh, the paper shop. Um, other stuff costs money. And in writing, you have a lot more options. Uh, wide ruled storyboard, you know. But like once again, it makes your whole notebook into storyboard, and it really doesn't work with a lot of what you're writing. But in the paper shop, um, you can buy all kinds of different papers. I mean, they're not, re not really that expensive. Um, time and tasks, twelve different pages. Music, thirteen different pages. And you can see the prices are like ninety nine cents and two ninety nine. Not too expensive, but you know maybe a little bit more expensive than it should be because you already bought the actual app. So let's change the paper back to something like graph paper. And overall I think it's a great app even though it does have um, not much color 
and doesn't have single page customization. Um, nodes, color, size, thickness, and exporting. At least it does have color. Um, there are some out there that don't have any color. Um, you can export these. Send to pages by email. You can save them as a PDF or you can send as a, like the actual notebook form um, and open it up and like on a different iPad and edit it there. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys and comment, rate, subscribe, please. And there will be more videos to come, so stay tuned. Once again, thank guys, thank you guys for watching.